Hi. Welcome to the society. Thank you. Finished unpacking? No, a lot is left. But you have a beautiful house and you've kept it really well. Oh, thank you. So, everything is settled? No, yeah, a lot is left. It's very dusty. Cleanliness is a big issue. Could you help me out with a maid? Maid? Actually, I don't have a maid. But your house looks beautifully kept. How do you manage without a maid? Wait, I can help you with something. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. See, this robot helps me clean my house. Robot? Yeah. Let me show it to you. Milagro Cleaning Robot comes in a beautiful pack. The young and vibrant badminton player Sayana Nehwal is its brand ambassador. And you know what? Many celebrities are its customers and have tweeted about it, including Amitabh Bachchan. But it must be very complicated like other gadgets, na? Oh, no, no, not at all. I'll explain you the features. See, all the functions are written here on the box. See, this is the main robot unit. And you can also carry it like this for easy handling. And these buttons here are the main operating controls. This is the infrared sensor. Here are the obstacle sensors. They let the robot know if any obstacle is in the way. This is the battery life indicator. It blinks when the battery is low. These are the three buttons to get the robot started. Dustbin. When the cleaning is done, you can remove it and clear the bin. Oh, so that's where the dust goes. This is the vacuum inlet lid. And this one is the filter. Now, this is the main brush. And this one is the side brush. It breaks the dirt and pushes it inside the cleaning path. And this is the rubber brush. Here is the rechargeable battery. Here is the spoon. It is used for taking out the dirt. And here is the charging socket. This one is very interesting. Virtual wall. It stops the robot from entering areas that you don't want it to enter. It basically acts like a Lakshman Rekha. Here is the remote controller. By the help of these buttons, you can make it perform various functions without actually going to the robot. Charging dock station. 
These are the signal sensors. Charging touch plate. And this one is the function setting plate. Now let's start with the charging dock. I'll show you. Place the docking station next to the wall on a level ground like this and make sure there exist no uneven areas between 1.5 meters in the front and 0.5 meters on the left and right. Make sure that the back of the docking station is close to the wall. You can also stick it with a glue if required. Charging dock station must be installed with the inverter or UPS power backup. But you know I'm working. I can't stay at home to make this robot work. You can auto schedule the robot to start at a specific time. You can make it work even when you're sleeping or if you're not at home. You can auto schedule the robot to start at a specific time. Auto schedule will be effective when the battery is fully charged for 4.5 hours. Press full go key. There will be a broom marking displayed at the lower left corner of the screen, which means the function is on. If you press the key again, the broom marking will disappear, which means the function is off. So tell me one thing, what if the battery goes down in between? This robot has an auto charging feature. It goes back to the docking station when the battery is less than 15%. When the battery is low, the battery indicator will turn red and it will stop cleaning and start finding a docking station. Ensure there is no wire in the path of the robot. The robot can also be guided to docking by placing the robot in front of the docking station and then press this max button.
can also charge it manually by directly connecting it with a power adapter. But then it will not perform the feature of auto scheduling and auto charging. You must charge it for 8 to 9 hours if you are using it for the first time or after weeks. There might be areas in your house where you don't want the robot to enter, like your kid's room or the temple. Uh huh. So in that case, you just need to place a virtual wall at the entrance of the area where you don't want the robot to enter. And for installing this, put two 1.5 volt batteries. This is the infrared guidance emitter. This is the distance selector. Now look, I'll choose a distance like this. 3, 5 or more than 7 meters. You can choose it as per your requirement. Now, I'll be telling you about the cleaning mode. First is spot mode. The robot here will move in concentric circles for 4 minutes. Ideal for cleaning if dirt is accumulated at a spot. Second is clean mode. This is ideal for cleaning small rooms like your kids room. Third is max mode. The robot will keep cleaning till the power is fully consumed. It will run for 60 minutes and then return to the docking station. It is suitable for larger areas like your drawing room. But tell me one thing, yours is a marble floor but I am planning to put carpets in my house. So what? It works very efficiently on marble floors as well as carpet floors. Must use good batteries and replace when becomes weak. Point it towards the infrared bubble for giving desired command. It has a range of 7 meters. Here is how you command it to move forward. And this is how you command it to move backwards. While using the remote, please remember that the robot does not have cliff sensors at the back. So if running on a table and using a back button, please be careful, it might fall. And lastly, operating the remote when the isolator and the robot are in the same range will lead to the failure of remote functions. So turn off the isolator while using the remote.
Ahmed Ishita, tell me what do I do if the robot stops working in between or its cleaning ability reduces or any such trouble arises? I'll tell you. In any of these cases, you first need to self-check it before calling the customer care. If the robot is malfunctioning and falling off the staircase or table, then there might be some dust on the stair detection sensors. Wipe away the dust at the bottom of the front plate with a dry cloth. If it stops running while all the indicators are on, then check whether there are obstructions blocking the main brush or the left or right wheel. Check the dustbin and clean it if it's full. If the robot is fixed at one area and keeps on rotating, again check whether there are obstructions blocking the left or right wheel and clean away the dust. If the virtual wall is not working, Place the virtual wall unit at the right place and replace the batteries in case the virtual wall doesn't work and the green indicator keeps on flashing. In case the battery can't be charged by the docking station, check whether the battery is correctly installed. Then check whether the contact on the front plate and the dome on the docking station are dirty. If dirty, clean it. If can't be charged on the dock station, then directly use the charger. In case the robot can't find the charging dock station. Make sure the dock station is powered on. Do not place it next to the virtual wall, as the signals might interfere with each other and hence would further lead to a malfunction. In case the robot does not perform the timing functions, please check if the dock station is working properly and reset the displayed parameters in case they change. Also, there are a few more things you should take care of. The robot will climb carpets with maximum height of 1.6 cm. The robot will clean under furniture with minimum ground clearance of 10 cm. Also, carpets with tassels must be cleaned by rolling tassels beneath the carpet. Do not clean for carpets by the robot. Okay, Ishita. But you know, everything requires proper care to avoid any issues. So, how do I take care of this robot? Right, I'll tell you about the do's and the don'ts. See, the infrared sensors don't work in the sun, hence the robot does not work in the sun. It does not work on uneven surfaces like outdoors, gardens and on very soft or cushiony surfaces. It loses its efficiency on black surfaces. Ensure no spikes or wires are present on the floor. Do not use any other charger for charging except the one given in the box. The robot will clean under furniture with minimum ground clearance of 10 cm. And lastly, operating the remote when the isolator and the robot are in the same range will lead to the failure of remote functions. So turn off the isolator while using the remote. Cool! There is a right way of using everything in order to avoid any kind of problem. Now to care for the robot. You need to clean the dustbin after every cycle as the capacity is only 0.25 litres and for that you need to press the press button and pull it out. Clean it with a dry and wet cloth and push it back in the machine and do not rinse it with water. Replace and clean the filter once a week and for that you need to turn the dustbin upside down. Clean like this and reattach. Cleaning the brushes in every 5 days is a must. And use the screwdriver to remove fixing screws on the right and take out the main brush. Rubber brush and brush coupler together and then clean it.
that won't take much of an effort, right? You must clean the sensors in 15 days with a cotton swab or soft cloth. Okay, very convincing. But you know how these electronic gadgets are. You cannot trust them with their life. And then the same problems. Malvika, Milagro is very trustworthy. I have been using it over a long period of time. And you know what? They are offering a 2 year warranty and full customer support. You better buy it.